Good afternoon all. Uh, a very quick first reflection on the fair and effective markets review paper that was announced last night by George Osborne and Mark Carney. I think they're to be congratulated. The, the review board should be congratulated for their work and their efforts over the last year. It's very hard not to support uh, their initial findings, which were to improve the conduct within financial markets. It is important, I would agree, it's very important that we regain trust and that we re-establish uh, high standards of conduct. Cannot argue that there should be greater accountability, can't argue that there should be greater responsibility, we fully support greater sanctions, and yes, working in the international market, it's important that there is international collaboration amongst regulators. Specifically, they said they want to look further forward and they're asking for market participants to engage in innovation that brings greater transparency to the markets. They wish to promote fairness and to look at ways of mitigating conduct risks going forward. So we completely support the fair and effective markets review. I think it's a good thing for the markets. Now we need to see what actually happens in practice. I'd like to touch on a point specifically regarding the FX. For the first time in a paper of, of this type, they mention last look. In fact, they've suggested a global code, a global code of standards on two parts for FX. One, that there should be consistent time stamping of customer orders, and two, there should be some consistent standards of last look. So let's look at that in um, those two points individually. Number one, time stamps. That must be standard, that should be de, de rigueur in any market, on any venue. Certainly at Almax Exchange we timestamp a customer order from the moment it's received all the way through to execution and acknowledgement from the client. That timestamping is done in milliseconds, it should be standardised. I can't believe it's particularly difficult to standardise in a global marketplace. So fully supportive and let's hope the market as one can agree the standards for timestamping. It is 2015 after all. The second bit is more difficult. They've asked for standardization um, on the utilization of last look. Let's not re-examine the whole rationale for last look again. But I think trying to standardize is going to be difficult across all the venues and all the people who use it. It is right that it's, a, it's an option for liquidity providers. It's right that there is, it gives the ability for someone to misuse it, not what it was intended for. We at LMAX Exchange have long held the view that there's no longer a requirement for it. Technology has advanced considerably since this rather strange optionality was introduced over a decade ago. So I think the easiest way to standardize it is actually not to have it. We're proud at LMAX that we have over 25 banks connected, all the major non-banks connected. They stream firm limit orders onto the LMAX exchange. So without the ability to reject, without that option to reject the trade, we think that's the fairest standardization for the marketplace. Let's see, we, we'd be very happy to engage with anyone in the Fair and Effective Markets Review Board uh, to that end. And I think also the FCA should be commended. You know, right here on the doorstep, they have a regulated MTF, a regulated MTF that already trades um, $10 billion a day with time stamping to the millisecond and with no last look of standards. So uh, I think it's a good start, it's a good paper, and we look forward to engaging with the review board going forward.